Hey everyone, it's Jacob. Uh, I had two, two thoughts or two things I wanted to share today. The first is a couple days ago, uh, my wife put an article out on Forbes and she shared 50 different examples of what organizations are, are doing to help their employees during this coronavirus, coronavirus pandemic that we're all experiencing. And we've all heard lots of other stories out there of what companies are doing, whether it's CEOs who are doing story time to the kids of their employees who work there, whether it's CEOs who are forgoing their salary, whether it's CEOs who are spending more time trying to do whatever they can to help families, um, companies who are giving away software and products for free, restaurants who are feeding their employees for free, all, all sorts of different stories that are out there which are great. And the first thought I had is, why does it take something like a pandemic, like coronavirus, for us to become more human? Uh, why does it take something like this for a CEO to say, you know what, maybe I'll host a weekly or a monthly story time where I can read to the kids of my employees who work there? Why does it take something like a pandemic for a restaurant chain to say, you know what, um, we're going to give free food to our employees or we're gonna, we're gonna help them in times of need, not just you know during this coronavirus time, but they're employees who are in times of need all the time. And as much as it's great that we're coming together during this pandemic to do whatever we can to help, I think that this shows that we should be more human all the time. Uh, we don't need to rely on such a pandemic, on such a, a tragedy that's impacting so many of us around the world to do the right thing. Uh, whether it's helping someone in need, whether it's treating somebody with respect, whether it's doing a story time for kids of uh, uh, people who, uh, who work at your organization. Um, and I was just reading through this list here um, of all the different stories and examples of, of what organizations are doing. And like I said, it's great, but I don't think we need to wait for a pandemic for organizations to be human. So that's, that's the first thought I had. The second thought that I wanted to, and by the way, I'm, I'm curious to hear what, what you guys think about that. Um, you know, am I totally off base there? And the second thought that I had is, it's interesting that now during this coronavirus pandemic, you don't hear so much about technology and automation and how it's going to replace jobs and workers. In fact, what you start to hear much more now is the importance of being human at work. Connections, relationships, uh, how do we stay together? How do we practice things like emotional intelligence, empathy? Uh, how do we come up with creative ideas to dig ourselves out of this mess? Uh, how do we practice vulnerability, self-awareness, all of these human components? And it just really goes to show that soft skills are really the new hard skills. Because when it comes to times of uncertainty, when it comes to difficult times, you know what's gonna help? It's gonna be the people who help each other out. And technology is gonna be a tool, just like it always has been, but it's ultimately the people who are going to come together to solve problems. It's gonna be the empathetic leaders who help their employees. It's gonna be, uh, right, the, the, the building the relationships, the connections, that's not gonna happen. Uh, Technology is not gonna do that for us. It might facilitate some of these things, but it really, I was thinking about this quite a bit, that, that it really makes us take a step back and understand that business, work, is still very much a people business. It's still dependent on relationships, on human beings showing up, um, working with each other, helping each other out, and doing what we do best, and that is being human. So those are the two thoughts that I wanted to share with you. Again, first one is we don't need a pandemic or a crisis to be more human and to help each other out and to help our employees out and just to help out people who are in need. And the second, is that it's really about these, these, human, these human skills and capabilities and qualities that matter most and that I think will matter most even in a world that is visibly being driven by and in a world where we're so obsessed with technology. So keep that in mind and as we overcome this coronavirus, as we overcome this pandemic, start to think about how can you bring these human practices back into your organization on a regular basis, not just during a time of a tragedy. How can you bring these things all the time? And also I want you to think about uh, when things get back to business as usual, encouraging and making sure that we don't forget these human skills, the relationship, the empathy, the self-awareness, the communication, these things that are so crucial. Let's not just focus on these things during times of disaster or tragedy. We always need to have these things because business is human, we are human, 
and I'm very much looking forward to getting through this, uh, and I'm very optimistic and positive about the future. So I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever in the world you are, and I'd love to hear from you. Stories, examples, anything that you want to share, please leave me a comment. Talk to you soon.